Hi my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Umbo Indongo. If you just bumped into my channel in your YouTube feed and decided to join this family, welcome, welcome, welcome. As for my returning subscribers, I love you all so much. You guys have been really, really supportive from day one. And guys, I just love you all so much. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the NYX uh, Professional Makeup can stop won't stop foundation gonna stay with the makeup for the whole day and then after that i'm gonna come in and tell you guys whether foundation sits on the skin or not uh, at the end of the day this foundation has a matte finish but i want to create a dewy look as uh, as you can see this look is dewy because i love dewy looks so i'm gonna create a dewy look so stay tuned for that i hope you're gonna enjoy this video i hope you're gonna learn something and this is gonna make you wanna go and buy this foundation or not forgot to mention i bought my foundation at uh, it was 1800 shillings from clown beauty the foundation ranges in kenya this is in kenya it ranges from 1800 to 2500 when i was window shopping when i was buying the foundation uh most places sell it it's between 18 to 20 2500 kenyan shillings so if you're in kenya those are uh, that's the price range i'm gonna list a number of places where you can get the foundation on the description bar so be sure to check that out and with that said let's get into this video so i'm gonna start off with uh, priming my face first using my maybelline hydrating primer doing a review of this foundation which is the NYX can't stop won't stop uh, full coverage foundation it is long wear because they say it stays on your skin for 24 hours and my shade is a uh, my shade is a uh, warm mahogany yeah that's my shade so we're gonna see how well this foundation uh, is gonna uh, is, uh, we're gonna see whether it claims to do all the things that it stated on the bottle I'm also gonna add a few things that they say on the screen so that you guys can read about it the undertone of this foundation is not, not quite for my skin it has more of a yellow undertone and my undertone is much of a cooler under much of a cooler my cooler undertone but we're gonna make it work so i'm just gonna blend this first out and then after blending it out i'm gonna show you how i do to make a foundation work for my skin for my skin type if you have bought the wrong foundation you don't have to throw it out or or uh, give it out you can I'm gonna show you a trick on how you can work, make your condition work. This is the amount of foundation I put on my hand. And then just a little on my face little amount of it i put has gone a really long way and it has blended so nicely i'm just gonna add a few here because i didn't get to quite cover these areas and uh and then you can see whether it's also gonna cover like these are not dark spots as per se these are what are they normally called moms i think they're called moms or beauty spots yeah those ones that's what these are on my face so these are not like blemishes or uh, hyperpigmentation from my acne previous acne yeah so let me do a little foundation on that and then cover that up and then i'm gonna show you how you make now the foundation now to look seamless and uh flawless and match the rest of your body if you bought one that is not a uh, one that the undertone is a bit off i just love how the finish looks like because 
I have used a beauty blender because I love beauty blenders a lot. I really love using beauty blenders. I feel like it just uh, helps uh, blend your foundation more nicely and seamless and then your foundation looks so flawless. The finish is good. looks much flawless than when you're using a brush and I just love how nice this foundation has sat on my face. You can see it has covered the dark the beauty spots over here and also you can't see any of the dark spots that I have around this cheek area yeah so that's uh, that's such cheek for me I'm gonna be using uh, my LA Girl Pro Conceal uh, I mean concealers I'm gonna use this too this one is the darker one is Espresso and then this the lighter shade is the uh, fun to make sure that everything looks nice and uh, flawless I'll go in with the same beauty blender that I use to do my uh, to blend out my foundation and use the, uh, this flat part to make sure that I do I contour nicely with it and then I'm gonna use these pointed areas to contour my highlights. So this is how I look after I have blended out my highlight, I've blended out my um, my contour, and you can see how skin-like and flawless my makeup looks like. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me from uh, powder, pressed powder, and this is in the shade 230. Uh, this is a uh, toffee and I'm gonna use this to set my highlight and then I'm gonna use this shade uh, The shade 340 Yes, yeah, the shade 340 <sighs> To set the rest of my face. Yes So this is the finished look guys i decided to go with i went with a glossy uh, lip a very subtle eye actually the, i've had i have no eyeshadow just put on some uh, lashes to make it pop so what i'm gonna do next is i am gonna wear this foundation for the rest of the day so right now it's at 12 i'm gonna give it up to five or six there there about so that's gonna be around six to seven hours and then come back and show you guys how my makeup is gonna be looking and see whether this foundation really uh, you can wear this foundation for a whole day and it just sits on the skin looking as flawless as it looks now and fresh as it looks right now Yeah, but I have a zoom meeting from around 1 up until 4 So yeah, that is when now I'm gonna come back and do the test wire but A few moments later So guys, this is after five, 6 hours of wearing it because it's 5.30 at the moment and that this is how my face looks like let me bring you guys a little bit closer as you can see i'm a bit oily this part right here and then these other parts parts of my face are glowy and uh, also my forehead is a bit i don't know uh, no that is uh that's glowy yeah that is glowing this part right here this part you can see it in a bit oily where i had set with a uh, setting spray and I'm also looking oily around this part okay right now I don't even know I don't know whether it's because I went with a dewy look or uh, it's those areas are a bit oily but to be honest I love how for this foundation is sitting I've sat on my face it is looking really really nice like if you could see me in uh, like in real life 
it looks so nice yani it looks really 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 good the makeup hasn't moved one single bit and i'm just i'm just wowed by this foundation guys yeah i didn't even do any touch ups at all since i went from that was from 12 i went in for my zoom meeting and then i've had lunch the only thing actually i've talked up is the gloss that is the only thing that i've talked up everything else i haven't touched anything any thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh don't forget to like this video share subscribe to the channel and uh, also leave a comment for me let me know if you use this foundation before and uh, let me know how your experience with the foundation was yeah and until the next time guys i love you all so much bye